Hey, welcome to this week's Rat Run. We're on woods here. I had a couple comments that uh, led me to do a couple of things. Like last week I added the image to the price check. Which you'll see that going forward. And then the 20k kit, which I actually misread at zero kit, woke up, started trying. Um, now this is for this week's Rat Run. From here on I'll use sword uh, and its own particular playlist where I just go in with the sword. No backpack armor or anything. And uh, yeah. This is it, so, uh, enjoy. Oh my god. I honestly didn't know they spawned this early. I thought it would be at least a couple minutes in. Eesh, kinda expected. Is that the only one? I could have sworn I heard another one. I don't see one. I'm just going to grab this and get out. No, 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 no. I know the shotgun's decent, but I'd still like to have a long range and then maybe I can go get kill. Uh, and I thought there was a box down here, but I don't see it. What's that sound? Okay. Nice. Hopefully this guy doesn't see me. I could get an easy kill here. Oh. Yes, come on, come on, come on. My stamina's low. Hmm. Alright, I think we're on our fourth, fifth attempt at this. Actually a lot harder than I was expecting. Um... I don't know. I took a break. Figured I'd uh, watch some videos and maybe, you know, when I come back I'd be refreshed. So hopefully that's the case because it's not looking so good. Um, I don't know. I, so I'm going to have three challenges. Uh, I've stated them in the other videos, but you're probably not going to see the other videos because I'm failing over and over and hopefully I won't have to keep repeating the same intro but essentially the challenges are going to be kill either a player or a boss in this case we're on interchange so kill a or if no player or boss I have to kill 10 scabs I also need to find meds um, I, it could be painkillers and like Slewa, IFAC something like that and I need to find a decent gun it doesn't have to be overkill but not like a pistol, it can't be a sidearm. I mean, I can use a sidearm to kill scavs and players, but I need to actually obtain a primary gun. And then my last objective is I want to walk away with at least 500k, which I think is pretty low. But being that I'm starting with nothing, I'm going to have to avoid players. Is this Killa? I don't think that was Killa. Is he going to charge me? I'm just gonna run. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a player to my left down that hall, probably towards Mantis. Uh, maybe even further. Could have been at Goshen Tents, but. I want to kill this Scav and then see if Killa's here and try to kill Killa. I've been able to melee him before. It's not. The easiest, you have to hit him in the head perfectly, or else it's gonna basically not be well. Alright, that took way too much, but we're live. We just now need a heavy bandage. I wanna search those pockets, but that guy's over there shooting, and I'm not trying to get dumpstered. Okay, killer's not here. That's probably good, to be honest. So I'm not really ready. Good, 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 good. Alright. I. Uh, probably can do something with this it's not a lot of rounds but worst case I can get a better gun I also need to get a splint soon because I don't particularly like having fuzzy screen I know you guys probably aren't 
enjoying it. Maybe I should have just brought splints with me just so the quality was better, but hopefully it won't be too imperative. Okay. I don't know if I'll actually use that, but never hurts having extra. So we got an SKS and an AK. Let's hope we run into a couple more scabs and get some armor, even if it's just crappy pack, uh, just something. Because this isn't going to be great if I fight a player. And I don't think Kill is here, so. We have one scab down, so we need nine more. Or get uh, a player kill. Debating on looting this, but I really should set my priorities. This isn't like bad loot by any means, but I really need to get meds. There we go. Like a um, Slewa IFAC would be perfect. I mean, a light bandage, that's great. Like, we can use that, right? But in the end, that's not going to heal me up. And I would like to get a splint, too. Debating. So I can go into idea and I can definitely start making some money. But I really kind of need to probably go down into Mantis. So maybe I can take a view from up top and see where people are at and then make a judgment call upon that. Normally we have a scab that spawns in here might be in this back hallway. Really? Alright, well, cancel that. Oh, uh, you didn't see anything. Seeing if I can kill another scab, but there's no scabs over here. I don't see anyone. I don't like camping. I feel like there's not as much skill involved. I mean, I could sit there with a an AK or really any gun and one tap a player in the head, but that's not really... Uh, I don't know. That's not really skillful, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, it, it you obviously still have to, you know... Hit your shot and hope they don't have a face shield, but I prefer being a little bit more challenging and buying my kill. I'm going to look down a few more times and see if someone comes up. Might even make electric store silence. That should draw people over there, I think. That's Gev. I didn't kill that one. I killed the one far on the left, right? So someone's been through here. Huh. Alright, I'm going to suppress the sound. For anyone that doesn't know that, that turns off the alarm in the electric store. Um, just up top of Ollie. Tech light. I couldn't think of the name. I think I'm safe to go down to Manus, but I don't think I want to take this staircase. I'm going to try to wrap around and go down the main stairs. Kind of hoping to get Thermite in that store. Thermite can spawn in there. It just doesn't happen very often. There's like no scavs or players. And I don't know where that shot came from. I don't even recall hearing someone shoot there. Well, I guess towards Mantis or Tents. But I didn't think that was at a scav. Because I would have heard the scav die, I feel. This is risky, but I think I will need that armor. I'm probably looting this way too slow. Alright, I'm just I'm gonna get out of here and take a look inside. See what all we have. We really need to get a Salewa or IFAC soon though. And I'm going to pop this, so our vision's going to get a little bit clearer. Obviously, we're going to have a little bit of static because 
painkillers, uh, you know, great vision with them, right? This feels a lot better. Okay. Um, check these medical cases. There's one here and then there's one on the other side of that. Slava? Yes? Yeah, let's go. Alright, we can heal up our arm. I'm going to try to also extract with above 50% HP. I think that's a, a fair challenge as well. We at least got a gun, so that's marked off. We have armor, so that's marked off. And we should be able to sustain above 50 trying to figure out what I want to do for the next challenge to make these a little bit more interesting and maybe I shouldn't include this in the rat run series so let me know if you guys don't really want to see this part of the rat run series I could definitely make this into its own series I feel like melee only series or you know something along that line uh, I mean this one I'm not really doing a loot run I mean I guess to a degree it's a loot run but I'm really focused on trying to complete the challenges and make a little bit of money in the process. Let's see if I can get a better gun. I'd like to get at least like a better mag for the AK. It sounded like an SVD. My painkillers are just now wearing off I believe. I don't see anyone. This would be the perfect position to take them. Hmm. Okay. Let's get back to looting. Oh, man. I was like, medical key, easy, challenge complete. This is a flashlight. I don't know if I got him or not. I hate getting flashlight. It's the worst. You can't aim for anything. You just got to spray and pray. I mean, you kind of assume where their head is, but... I did get them. Alright. What do you got, buddy? Whoo! Let's go. Okay. Uh, hold on. I got to think of the challenges. I think I just completed all the challenges because he's going to have... The two guns is probably what? 400k... Then you have the armor. Like vendoring these guns alone, it has to be easily 400k. And obviously I'm not going to vendor it, but I mean, like, if you to piece off the parts, it would be worth more. I'm just going to use it whenever I go in on another run, but... I need to get that Slaywa back. Just in case he doesn't have meds, which he probably does, because he's pretty thick. I'd be so upset if I was him. He gonna go back into the main lobby and see he died by PS rounds. Oh, that's uh that's a feels bad for him. Alright, um No, actually I'm not gonna use that just in case I'm not over the five hundred K. I think I am. Propitol yeah, screw it. I'll use a Propitol. That way that continuously heals me while I'm running around. Um, okay, and we're come. I'm not taking backpack lists. That would be stupid. I'm not going to make enough money if I take backpack lists. And we're come's just going to be camped. Guarantee it. At least I have gear, so I should be able to... Most exit campers have, like, Mosins. So I just have to keep running, and I should be okay, I feel. I'm going to run back here. There's something in here, if I remember. Eh. Maybe I'll take the GM count and sodium, just in case. I want to make sure I have it. Man, if I'm under, it's going to suck. I'm going to have to come back in and do this again. Not that I'm mine. This is actually starting to be fun. But, uh, the first matches I did, man. You guys didn't see the clips in the beginning. It was painful. Like, 
I started out super confident, in fact, overly confident. I uh, I went into a match, grenaded myself to start with zero HP. I was like, okay, so what if I can start with zero HP? And I actually went real. I got meds and everything. Um, and then I got popped by, uh, I want to say that one, I got popped by a scout. I have yet to die to a player, which is nice, but, uh, well, no, that's not true. I tried to melee a player because uh, I went slightly Papega. And I should have just not tried to melee him, but, you know, I figured, go for it. So, back here, I might be able to get some thermite. I'm not, uh, I could run the road and get, what, two stashes, one at power plant and then the one beside power plant. Then you have a potential M4 spawn. Let's just go for thermite back here, and this will kind of get me towards... Emercom. Oh wait, that was searched. Okay. So someone's been through here. I'm gonna check in here. There's another duffel bag. And I can see if someone's went this path. That door is open, so I want to say yeah. Okay, good. I probably won't run into that guy then. Not that I mind PvP, but I really don't necessarily want to restart. Uh, the challenge today, I'd like to like to go back finishing some other videos I'm working on, but I'm definitely going to do this again, whether it's its own series or Rat Run. You guys decide in the comments. Um, I think Rat Runs probably should be its own series, only because I'm specifically running around for loot, where this I'm kind of in a survival uh, type mode, like fight or flight type of mentality. I'm definitely going to add challenges every week. They may even be different. Or maybe I won't even do it once a week. Maybe I'll do it twice a week or however much time I can get. But this is definitely fun. It's a unique challenge and it makes me play a lot different. I'm already a pretty aggressive player when I play, so this is, you know, basically changing that up. And I should have repaired this earlier. I forgot I had a grizzly. That's my bad. There's a scab yelling at someone. I don't see the player. He, he didn't kill the scab yet. I'm debating. Do I go for another player kill? This is hard. So I can make it into a really good video or just a good video. Not that this is bad. I mean, obviously, I'm walking away with a lot more than I was expecting. When I was like, okay, challenge, kill a player, I'm like, okay, there'll be plenty of pistolers on the interchange. That shouldn't be too hard, or, you know, a couple people using KS. And then worst case scenario, there's tons of scabs here, so I can just keep killing scabs until I get my challenge complete if I don't find a player. And then that guy happened. Okay, so up here we have a decision to make. Do we hit a stash or we take what value we have here, which should be enough? Two guns alone are probably around 400k, I would say. Then you have the armor. That's easily going to take me to another 100k, so that's that should be enough, actually. I just hate looting this stash because people like to camp it in a bush. Nah, you know what, screw it. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to. I literally just died hitting that stash a few days ago because the guy was camping right in these bushes right here. And he just had eyes on me, and I didn't realize. I even looked towards the bushes, and I just didn't see him. I'm right in the middle of the, uh, clearing out the stash. I got popped right in the head. So if you ever have Emercom extract, I recommend doing the path I just took. Yes, you are up against a blue wall, which kind of makes you obvious uh, to anyone that's looking that direction. But you can jump right here, and you're pretty much safe. I mean, no one can shoot you from the other side, so you just got to watch this side. All right, not bad. Hey, guys, thanks for staying to the end of the video. That was actually a lot more fun than I expected and a lot more difficult. I honestly thought I was going to crush it with one or two runs. Uh, obviously wasn't quite the case, 
So, yeah, I don't know. I, I find this to be kind of fun. Uh, let me know if you guys want to continue to see this. If so, I will at least do one or two more and just kind of see how they do and see, you know, the analytics on it. Um, probably not going to include it in the Rat Run series unless you guys want me to, and then I will going forward. But this one, I'm going to make its own separate one, at least for now. Uh, let me know what you guys saw in the video or in the comments below. And if you guys want to see other videos like this, or if you have a suggestion, I try to implement uh, the majority of suggestions. So let me know. All right. Thanks again for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you guys next time.